Keep it short. Keep it short. East Bay this weekend. All right, bye. All right, thanks, Coach. Okay, I'll <laughs> uh, Coach, uh, with the rainouts uh, last week and after that uh, great start of the season, momentum, uh, how have you kind of kept your gals uh, focused, uh, having the you know the kind of the weekend off and getting ready uh, to hopefully play uh, this weekend? Yeah, it's not easy, but it's not something that we're not used to. Uh, you know, it's just about continuing to do work in the field house. The beauty is we have that field house where we can get full scrimmages in, put ourselves in the live situations, and um, continue to work out. Uh, you know, it kind of does suck to have started your season and then go, ha, just kidding started but no just kidding uh so but these girls you know they're upbeat they're they just want to play and hopefully the weather doesn't look too great in east bay but hopefully we'll get some kind of games in whether it be two or three probably not all of them but um they just want to keep playing would we'll be the same thing just like last week around thursday that you guys will get the official word on um i talked to her today she's hoping to give me a call either tonight or first thing tomorrow morning we kind of need to know for our hotels and vans and stuff but um yeah i expect a decision to be made tomorrow whether uh we move whether we're canceled or whether we move it's looking more like we're moving to saturday sunday just because the weather there is supposed to be a lot of rain coming in thursday friday but see how it goes uh with pioneers says uh, six and two four and at home so just like you guys uh, they're also uh, doing well uh, early part of the season uh, you know, they're always tough. Uh, we were talking about it this morning is, you know, they might not finish in the top of the league year in and year out, but they give us a game every year. And um, it's not a game that we're going to take lightly. They do have a lot of power. Uh, you know, they graduated some, their, their pitch, most of their pitching staff last year. They do have some of their pitching staff back this year. But um, I expect a game out of them no matter what the situation is. And, you know, we have to go in there no matter who we're playing and treat them like that, treat them as if they're the number one team or their team that can beat us. And hopefully we're continuing to play at our top level. But um, they've got a new coach in. We didn't get a chance to see him last year because we got rained out against them. So it's, it's kind of a new thing for us. And we're just going to go out there and you know, play Humboldt softball and see what they want to give us back. Uh, pitching wise, uh, they, they got a freshman mm -hmm. uh, that already has four home runs, 12 RBI. Sarah, uh, I would try to say the last name. but uh, it's Fukushima. Yeah, I would probably uh, yeah. say, say that's Year in and year out, they're the ones battling with us in power. And so I expect that game from them. Uh, the difference with us is we have a little more speed combined with that power. They don't have that speed. But uh, their hitters work hard, and they're going to give us a game. Speaking of offense, uh, you guys uh, have a team that uh, also has a powerful offense. Yes. Uh, again, the beauty of our offense is it's one through nine is what we're going to give you. We're going to give you – we give any pitcher a headache um, any, on any given day. It's not you, that doesn't seem to be a break in our lineup right now. And when there is a break in our lineup, we've got people on the bench that are ready to go. Um, and that's what's going to continue to make us successful, uh, as well as um, the pressure that we put on the bases.